Hey, Mosaic family, I hope you are there. We're going to get started here in about four minutes or so. Uh, just going to give a chance uh, for everyone to tune in. So uh, I hope everyone's having a good day, a good week. Uh, it was a great day today. Uh, it was warm. It was dry. Uh, maybe you got some, uh, some chores done. Maybe you got some yard work done. So uh, while we uh, wait to get started, uh, go ahead and share some announcements real quick. I want to, of course, invite you, encourage you, remind you to tune in and join us tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. as we uh, have our time of worship right here on Facebook Live. Uh, and I want to encourage you to invite other people to come and join you. Uh, obviously, you can send a text message with the link. Uh, to our Facebook page, you just type in facebook.com uh, slash mosaic huntsville, all one word, and you can send that link to whoever, share it on your social platforms, uh, Facebook here, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, anywhere that you can think of just to get the word out. We have an opportunity right now when people don't have a lot going on and uh, through a personal invitation, uh, they may just tune in that people who normally do not go to church, maybe who would not normally uh, come with your invitation, but they might tune in. Um, i tell you something that I have uh, learned. Uh, now, we don't get to see all the demographics or the uh, analytics uh, information, but if you will host a watch party, I believe more people will watch. I believe people that you invite to uh, watch a, uh, the video with you through a watch party I believe they're going to be more likely to respond to that versus if you just send them a link. So uh, I want to encourage you to do that. We don't get to see their comments. We don't get to see that they tuned in on our end, but that's okay. I want whatever method will bring the most people in so they can hear the word. Uh, we want uh, to not only be challenging to Christians, but also make sure that we're sharing the gospel message during these times uh, through our messages. And I, I know it's going to be a wonderful time. I've been uh, working hard to get all this pulled together for you guys, for all of us, uh, so that we can worship together. I uh, really appreciate the praise team, AV team, as they have uh, worked uh, extra hours and doing all this. And I think it's just going to be excellent uh, time of worship again this week. Uh, so again, invite people to come. Uh, we're also looking at uh, options of uh, what we can do for Easter. It sounds like everything's still going to be shut down through Easter. And so we're looking at options that we may be sending out uh, like a survey here after a while uh, to see what your uh, thoughts are. And then also we're looking at uh, doing a Zoom Bible study, uh, perhaps tomorrow at some point. Uh, and if you're interested in that, go ahead and comment right below and let us know, hey, I would I would participate. I would uh, tune in for a live uh, Zoom meeting uh, to, in order to get together. And the nice thing about Zoom is we get to hear from each other. Right now, we get to see your comments, but we don't get to see your faces. We don't get to hear your voices. And that would just be a wonderful time, even if we just got together for prayer. Uh, let's do that. Let's uh, make sure that we tune in. And uh, so we're looking at that. Make sure you comment below if you're interested in that. And then also a very special thing that we're going to be posting tomorrow is Missy has put together a Bible study for the children and we passed out packets. If you didn't get a packet, let us know, send us a direct message and let us know that you want a package or you can just sit there and type it in the comments. Missy's uh, monitoring those right now. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, I'm going to remind you, make sure on the trivia that you type in the letter or the word that you're wanting to answer with. We're about to get started here in just a second. All right, the first question right here, the body of the Egyptian Sphinx was based on which animal? One bull, two a horse, three a lion, or four a dog? Uh, you've seen that Sphinx figure, you know, it's an iconic uh, Egyptian uh, statue, if you will. You see little statues too, I guess souvenirs. Um, you know, they had some uh, crazy looking um, uh statues, uh, gods, and things that they worshipped. And uh, so what was it based on? Was it based on a bull, a horse, a lion, or a dog? Choose which one. One, two, three, or four. You can actually type in the word. All right, it's uh, starting to calculate the answers right now, and it gives us a few seconds. And uh, at the end of this, it's going to tell us, uh, it's going to kind of give us an idea of who um, 
who uh, won, and uh, so uh, it'll have the first three uh, winners, top three winners. All right, looks like uh, Suzanne and Aaron got it right. It was a lion. Uh, that's right. Uh, it, so I had that. My body was based on the lion. And so anyway, going back to the uh, uh, Bible study, Missy's going to post that tomorrow so that you guys can watch that with your children and go through the material together. There's other videos that go along with it. So I want to encourage you to tune in for that if you've got children. Again, if you want one of those packets, uh, let us know. All right, the next question here. On what day of creation did God create man? All right, was it one, fifth day, two, fourth day, three, sixth day, or four, seventh day? Which one is it? Type that in your comments right there. Our uh, playlist is uh, uh, thanks to Missy. She's putting together a playlist for us, and um, she does good with that, uh, pre-service music and things like that on Sundays. And uh, so uh, she's put together this playlist for us tonight. All right. Well, it's going to calculate the answers here in a second. What day of creation did God create man? Uh, you you know there's seven days right seven days uh, I think a lot of people uh, sometimes say seven thinking oh I forgot about the day of rest all right it was on the sixth day on the sixth day right there looks like Aaron Mike and Michael but we got a lot of mics you know we don't have to do Mike one or maybe like Mike T you know give you guys nicknames or something like that. Joe you might have to tell us a joke. You might have to type in a joke. Or I tell you what, Joe, we need to lead a Bible study on Zoom, and you can tell a joke before we get started. Uh, you know, that would be fun. Uh, I believe everyone would tune in for your jokes, man. <laughs> All right. Hippocampus is the Latin name for which marine creature? Is it a dolphin, seahorse, whale, or octopus? I've never heard of that one myself, so uh, be my guess. Uh, be just a guess for me. Is it dolphin, seahorse, whale, or octopus? You know, I don't, I don't know. Hump, I'm thinking like hippopotamus, a hump, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Big. Is it a seahorse? I don't know. Which one is it? I'm thinking like a hippo, maybe well. I don't know. Let's see which one it is. Seahorse, really? I would not have guessed that one, honestly. I mean, that's a little bitty. Dang, I'm thinking hippos are huge. Okay. Well, anyway, shows how much I know. Hey, guys who are just tuning in, just jump right in there where we are. You can uh, type in one, two, three, or four for your answers, or actually type in the word. Um, I did hear that if you just type in numbers, that Facebook may flag it as spam or something like that. So you may need to type in the uh, word every now and then just to keep it from doing that. What kind of bird brought Elijah food while he was uh, he hid in the Kindreth Ravine east of the Jordan? I right, remember he went there, he went and hid, and uh, God took care of him while he was there. Was it doves, ravens, penguins, or the phoenixes? Which one is it? God used uh, birds many times in Scripture. All right, let's see the answer here. Hey, Kylie, good to see you on here. It was the Ravens. All right. See, I threw in like I threw in doves. So I was thinking an animal, bird of peace, right? All right. So um, 
Hope everyone's had a good day today. Uh, a lot of sun, maybe. You know, you would be careful. It's already time to put sunscreen on. You out there too long, get burned already. All right, which of the following is not a book of the Old Testament? Is it Ezra, Enoch, Micah, or Nahum? Some of those uh, obscure or uh, books there that you don't hear a whole lot about. They're very short. Maybe after tonight, you might have to just look them up and, and read them. And, well, the ones that are actually books, that is. There's one of them that's not. You know, they may be out of toilet paper, they may be out of hand sanitizer, but they're not out of the most important stuff at the store, and that's coffee. And I'm thankful for that. We got to look on the bright side these days, right? All right, Enoch. All right, do we have any coffee snobs out there that you just have to have a particular brand of coffee? Let me know what brand you like. Just comment in there. Okay. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. I'm not going to sing it for you, and you're welcome. Is the first line of from what song? The Joker, Fandango, Take the Money and Run, Fly Like an Eagle. I'm, I'm tempted to sing it, but, and, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't see anybody here, so I'm just like, normally I just sing it, but I know somebody's listening. We don't want to do that. This stuff's kind of permanent. It goes on Facebook, you know. And... All right, let's see what the answers are. Hey, guys, that you are just tuning in, just jump in there. You can just type in the number that corresponds with your answer or actually type in the answer, and it will record your answer to each of these questions. All right, it was the Joker. No, I think I'm going to uh, save my pipes for tomorrow morning when I'm singing uh, for worship. I'll do that. Dark French roast. Oh wow! I can I can do a dark French roast, but I don't know. I, I think I have to have something a little bit lighter. What is the last word in the Old Testament? Don't look it up now. You can't be looking these up. No googling or asking your uh, Alexa or, uh, or anything like that. You got to just guess here. Um, and this one. Uh, it can be a little tricky. You know, what's the last word of the Old Testament? You ever think about that, what the last word is? It is it cursed, blessed, loved, or peace out? Peace out. You know, it was uh, about 400 years after uh, the last prophet, the last word of God, before Jesus arrives on the scene. Can you ima imagine you know, that dark and quiet time? So I think the answer is going to uh, shock you. It was curse. Oh, my goodness. I remember uh, Malachi was a book of warning and calling people back to him. Like God was calling people back to himself. And, you know, it's so easy for us to get, you know, distance ourselves from God. And we don't even realize it. And that's what happened. I mean, he really gave it to the priests and the ministers for allowing it to happen, allowing it to continue. And God's like, hey, you know what? It's better for you to just shut the church doors and not even have it rather than to have unworthy sacrifices. Uh, but God, every time he gave a word of warning and a word of uh, curse, he always gave a word of hope and restoration if we would turn to him. All right, one title of God is El Shaddai, uh, which means what? Almighty God, healer.
God with us or fa God, fa uh, Father God. Can't even write my own reading tonight. Missy might have been uh, around when I was putting the answers in, so I don't know. So uh, going back to the coffee question, uh, I go between certain brands. I, I got to have a good brand, you know. Can't do that Maxwell House stuff. Uh, that's uh, that's that's just not for me. But um, do we only have two people answer? Well, you guys got to answer. You got to type in that number. Come on, guys. Um, but Almighty God. But uh, I like community coffee. And um, it's uh, from Louisiana. And I get the um, Cafe Special, which is a medium to dark roast. Ah, I like that. So if you've never tried it, try it out. What was the first plague the Lord sent on Egypt? Was it locusts, water turned into blood, frogs, or boils on the skin? Ooh, was it the coronavirus? You know, some people make comments, of course, every time there's a natural disaster or something like that, uh, people bring up scripture and end of times and things like that, but... Uh, I know some people are saying, you know, hey, the scripture talks about plagues upon the land. And if we would uh, get on our knees before the Lord and call out his name and repent and turn back to him, that he will bring healing to our land. And uh, that's it. We, we need to be praying and pouring out to God and repenting and turning back to him anyway. But, hey, this ought to open our eyes nonetheless. Right. Water turned into blood is the answer. Yep. And yes, I am talking about coffee. I mean, you got to talk about what's important, right? That we really need to be praying and on our knees right now during this time and uh, just uh, praying for not only our land, but I mean, the world right now. Thank you, Melody. I can always count on Melody uh, to show me where I misspelled something. Uh, if anybody knows me, they know it's going to happen. Who did Samuel anoint as the first king of Israel? Was it David, Ahab, Saul, or Solomon? Which one is it? All right, some of you guys that uh, are on here and you remember uh, Scott Lawrence, he would take us through the uh, Bible in order and and he told us about the kings and put them in order. So maybe you remember that. Which one was it? First king of Israel. Are you guys enjoying this tonight? Let us know. Just type it in. Give us a thumbs up there, maybe, if you uh, are enjoying this tonight. Uh, yep, it was Saul. It was Saul. Come on, guys. If you don't know it, just guess. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna shame you here. No Bible shaming. Just jump in there, type in your answer, whether it be uh, a number or actually type it out every so often, so that Facebook doesn't kick you off. All right. How long has Joe Matoyer been growing his beard? I will say this is an often. He how long he's been growing it off and on? Like, has it been two years, seven years, five years, ten years? Does he Joe even know? I don't know. Does Joe? Have you guys seen pictures of Joe without a beard? Oh my goodness, baby face. I mean, oh my goodness. Of course, it's been a long time. He's you know kind of like all of us has aged a little bit under that beard. You know, so I don't know. Joe, do you still have a baby face under that beard? I don't know. <laughs> Melody's always trying to get him to cut the beard. Uh, he's saying right now that it's kind of like a HEPA filter, you know, just filtering in out all the coronavirus germs and kind of keeping them healthy right there. 
Um, I don't know. Some people are saying it gets caught in there and might, might be more likely to get it. Joe, how do you wear a mask over that thing, man? It's, you don't, you have to have like like the cartoon mask, you know, that's actually a shape of their like hats and their long chins or something like that. You don't have to have like a mask that's like the shape of your beard. Maybe put duct tape around it. Yeah, seven years. Seven years he's been going at it. Then now, Melody said he shaved it once. Now, did he shave it like all the way to the skin? Or did he just kind of trim it up, shave it short or what? All right, in the movie Back to the Future Part 2. Now, this is a you got, what year in the future did Marty visit? Now, by the way, Back to the Future is one of my favorite movies. I like all three of them. Uh, so is it 2020? Did he come into this year? Was it? 2015, five years ago. Can you believe 2015 is five years ago? Oh, my goodness. 1999, by the way, year I graduated, millennials last class. Or was it 2095 and we hadn't got there yet? You know, they had flying cars, hoverboards. Um, they had all kinds of interesting – those jackets that, like, you know, arms, like, sucked up and – if he, when he got it wet, it like blew itself and dry, it dried itself. Come on, guys, what, where's all the answers at? You guys got to type it in. We got three answers there. 2015. Yep, 2015. You guys got it right. You guys must be googling that for real. Yeah, he went. He went into. The, I, actually, number two was probably my least favorite movie. I enjoyed part three because that's when he went to the old west, and I really enjoyed that one. Uh, that was uh, pretty interesting. All right, what is the name of the failed football league that was dismantled in two thousand and one? But they try to make a comeback. By the way, this year, and by the way, it was a terrible year to try to make a comeback because of the coronavirus. They had to cancel all the games. Uh, so I don't know if they're gonna make it again. Was it the WWE, XFL, the SFS, or the BRB? That would be funny if their name was like BRB if it was uh, the initials and be right back. It could stand for both since they tried in 2001 and then also 2020. Which one is it? You got some people saying XFL. Did anybody actually watch these games? I, I'm not a huge football fan, so I definitely didn't even know about it. XXL. I don't think that was one of the choices, Michael. All right. It was the XFL. XFL. Wow. All these ladies got it. My goodness. It does sound like it, though. I like BRB myself. I came up with that one. Hey, Jordan, it's about time. Get here when you can, man. Uh, some people calling it the XXL like that. Okay. All right, Destin is a brand name of what type of product? Diaper rash ointment? Hair styling products, sunscreen, or sewing machines. All right, we'll see if you guys know. Desitin, is that how you pronounce it? Joe says diaper rash ointment. Mr. Wilson, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing good in Tennessee. I think that's where you are now. If you're just joining us, you can uh, put your answer in. Just uh, type one, two, three, or four uh, for the answer, or you can actually type out the name, either one, and just jump in where we are. It was diaper rash ointment. All right. <laughs> three babies. Yep. I keep it in there. I can keep that keep that stuff ready at all times.
All right, what is represented in the name Mosaic City Church? Let's see if you guys know. Is it the Law of Moses? Is it diversity? City Church Association? Or is it like representing art? Which one is it? Again, uh, as we approach the end of our time here, I uh, just want to remind you that tomorrow we will, uh, our service will be live uh, here on Facebook, and I think we're going to try to premiere it on YouTube as well. Uh, so that way, uh, regardless if you're on Facebook or YouTube, you'll be able to access that. And uh, just by the way, we do have our website, mosaiccitychurch.org, uh, that you can go to, and all of our previous sermons are there. And we also launched a YouTube channel that we're putting a lot of stuff like this video right here will be on our YouTube channel here after a while. All right. It was diversity mosaic city church. You know, a mosaic is uh, made up a bunch of little pieces from different sources. Uh, it represents diversity. We believe God desires for us to be a church of diversity, but also those pieces are broken pieces from different sources. And, you know, everyone's got issues. Everyone's got their problems. Everyone's got no one's perfect. So the idea is we want to be a place where it's okay not to have it all together because none of us do. All right, in the Bible, who never died? Like, they, like, legit never died. Now, that's pretty crazy. Like, it tells us they never died. They never saw death. Is it John the Baptist, Enoch? Is it Methuselah or Adam? All right. Which one is it? it never died out of those four. But uh, our YouTube channel, uh, if you search Mosaic Huntsville, one word, and your search may actually try to separate the words, make sure you go back and tell it that you search it together, um, and you'll find our YouTube channel. We need you to like and subscribe, whatever, you, you know, subscribe to our channel, because once we get over 100 subscribers, we'll be able to do more with that. And again, uh, right now, our idea is to expand our reach with the gospel message. Uh, and and I know God's already doing that right, you know, right here on Sundays, Wednesdays and even right here on uh, Saturday nights. He's expanding our reach with people who wouldn't normally uh, be a part of Mosaic or step foot in a church building. And so uh, you do your part. Go on there and subscribe. Even if you never go to YouTube, help us out by subscribing. All right. And the game Minecraft. Now, I did this one for our, our younger viewers who were just like so into Minecraft. What are creepers scared of? All right. Creepers are these like green creatures. If you uh, came to our uh, our uh, trunk or treat, it was the green head. Uh, you know, they, these are tall creatures on the game. Uh, anyway, are they scared of spiders, the dark cats or cows? So uh, I don't play it. But apparently if you generate one of these uh, things that uh, the creepers stay away from you, away from those things, at least. Uh, so which one is it? You may have to just guess. You may think, what's Minecraft? I don't know. Just type a number, one, two, three, or four. Something's better than nothing, right? Any guess is better than nothing. All right, it's calculating the answers now. No idea. Well, just, just type in something. Even if you have no idea, just type in something. All right, it is cats. Who would have known this creeper creature is scared of cats? See, I would have thought cows too. Or spiders. They got some big spiders on that game too. Have you ever seen those sand spiders? Those things are huge mice. I mean, little spiders creep me out, but can you? I would like so, like, I don't know what I'd do if I saw one of those desert sand spiders coming after me. Looks like something off of. Uh, one of these movies. Uh, this national holiday, originally celebrated uh, on a state-to-state -state basis, was officially established by Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, by the way, in 1863. Which one is it? Is it Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, or Independence Day? Which one is it? Was it officially established? No, in other words, it existed 
on a state to state basis before that, but then he made it a national holiday, which is at one, two, three, or four Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Memorial Day, or Independence Day. See who all paid attention in history class. See, all you guys are like, when am I going to use this stuff? I'll never use this stuff. Well, this is your day. This is the time that history teachers can shine, that you can get an answer right and a trivia question with Mosaic City Church on a Saturday night. Which one is it? It was Thanksgiving. All right, Mike, you got it right. Thanksgiving. Yeah, if you think about it, you might, well, that was like the Pilgrims, wasn't it? Oh. Well, apparently we didn't make it official until later. And by the way, the original Thanksgiving, they didn't have turkey. They didn't have turkey. How did we come up with turkey anyway? I wonder. All right, what branch of the military? Some of you guys ought to know this one was a, a corps of only 50 soldiers when... World War I broke out. Only 50 soldiers. In other words, it was, it was small. Air Force, Navy, Cavalry, or the Coast Guard. Which one was it? If you don't know, just type an answer. Just type one, two, three, or four. You have a chance of getting it right. One out of four, right? That's a 25% chance. I know some people, that's how they, you know, they do anyway with tests at school. By the way, how are you guys excited about doing online learning starting after spring break in like a, a week from now? And is anyone excited about that? Or you're like, oh, I just rather go to school. Which one is it? The Air Force. I was expecting Mike to get that one. Uh, so it was the Air Force was just 50 soldiers when World War I broke out. Hey, Bethany. Erin says she's doing online learning right now, and she's not a fan of it. I don't know. When I was doing uh, college classes, I actually liked to do the online because I could do it when I had time, but I definitely like being in class better. What can be used as a substitute for egg in a recipe? You know, you go to the grocery store right now, they don't have eggs on the shelves. What's up with that? Uh, no toilet paper, no eggs. Um, so what can you use instead? Well, it could use butter, milk, applesauce, or shortening. Alexis, she's gotten into baking a little bit, and she can tell you right off what to put in there she actually did that the other day she substituted which one would have the same effect did i keep up with my online work we're not going to talk about my experience with online classes i was asking about everybody else you know we don't want to bring me into this i how about parents? So parents, are you okay with the online learning or are you now like, man, I just wish they could go back to school. Just being real. All right. Number three, applesauce. You can use applesauce. You can use a lot of different things, even mashed bananas. Did you know that? And look, Aaron, you came in number one. Congratulations. And Missy, which, you know, kind of maybe cheated a little bit. Who knows? She became in number two. And Melody, again, is on the leaderboard. Oh, my gosh. Melody, you are surprising me. You are surprising me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that uh, I'm going to clear this off uh, real quick. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the trivia. And again, I want to just remind you to tune in tomorrow on Facebook at 11 o'clock or YouTube at 11 o'clock and uh, worship with us. You know, I know it's not the same as. Uh, being together, uh, but uh, it's better than nothing. And, you know, we 
need to learn anyway, that it's not about uh, anything other than getting with the Lord. And we are coming together as a congregation, as the people of God, worshiping him, uh, just not in the same location. We, we're still together in the same heart. And, uh, you know, I want to encourage you to top your amens. Um, you know, put your uh, emoji praise hands uh, on there and, and other things just to interact. And we will be monitoring the comment section uh, for uh, for prayer requests or comments. And so we want to encourage you uh, to jo get your family together, have your Bibles ready, anticipate God to do something amazing tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. And uh, it's just going to be great. Uh, and um, also, again, We'll be uh, posting Missy's video for the children tomorrow. If you didn't get a packet and you would like one, uh, give us a direct message or uh, right there in the comments, uh, let us know that you want a package. Uh, and maybe you're an adult and you don't have any kids and you want to do it. That's fine. Hey, these are good lessons. Missy put it together today, and they have videos that go along with it uh, as in addition to her video, her teaching video. And the packets have like a coloring sheet. They have uh, the, the different activities and stuff that they kids can do along with it uh so i want to encourage you to tune in tomorrow for worship at 11 uh missy's bible study and then also we're working out details don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or sometime uh later that we're going to do like a zoom bible study uh but if nothing else just to see each other's faces and hear each other's voice we can get together for prayer amen we can get together with uh for that uh at least a little bit tomorrow so be be watching we will be sending notifications on our remind. If you're not on remind, I want to encourage you to get on remind because that's our primary channel for communications. Uh, we do have the website up, mosaiccitychurch.org. Make sure you go on there and check it out. Also, check out our YouTube channel. Again, please, please, please subscribe so that we can unlock some new features for us. So there's certain things that we will be able to do uh, that will help us use YouTube in a much greater way if we have enough subscribers. I think we have to have 100 subscribers. So subscribe, share it with other people. We're going to be putting videos like this, encouraging uh, uh, videos uh, on there as well. Uh, just some things that can be useful. And all of our stuff will be in one organized location. Love you guys. I, I truly miss being with you. Uh, if you need anything, please reach out uh, we, and uh, and let us know. If there's any way we can pray for you, let us know. Uh, we really do miss you, and I hope to worship with you tomorrow. You guys have a good night.